Queer representation has come to the forefront in video games over the last few years like never before, with some of the biggest titles starring main characters who are visibly queer. For all that though, one thing has been bothering me. Where are all the gay men? <clears throat> I mean in video games, obviously there's loads of yous out in the real world. While the representation of queer women has begun to blossom in video games, there's a dearth of queer men and their absence speaks of a bigger issue. They do exist, of course, but usually supporting characters like Bill in The Last of Us. When they do exist as playable characters, it's often at the hands of player choice. Games that let you choose same-sex romance options. Even those have their issues. While Mass Effect eventually let you play as a gay man, it wasn't until its third instalment, despite a female protagonist having same-sex options in all three entries. And even once those choices exist, typically, the options for same-sex romances are far fewer for men than women. And male protagonists? pre-written in this game, not left to player choice, they simply don't exist in mainstream games. And that absence, to me, highlights a wider issue with masculinity in mainstream games, and perhaps with representation as a whole, because it suggests that video games, despite growth in the past few years, still have a deep-rooted and narrow vision of masculinity. Even male heroes who are subject to criticism in their own narratives for their hyper-masculinity, like Joel in The Last of Us or Kratos in the recent God of War, are nonetheless still the embodiment of hyper-masculinity. They might be judged and measured for their guarded emotions and dependence on violence, they still get to adhere to those things, very much a having your cake and eating it type situation. Men who are vulnerable, emotionally open and non-violent, who are supportive, or basically just know a rampage and murderous arsehole, don't really exist in video games. The absence of gay men in relation to that tells me that video games have a strict view of homosexuality among men, and a real discomfort still with masculinity outside of the toxic norms. That could change though. Independent games are always pushing the boundaries in this regard. There is the pleasant, affirmative dream daddy, in which the players play a single dad dating other single dads in their area. Or there is the tea room by Robert Yang, which describes itself as a historical public bathroom simulator about anxiety, police surveillance and, um, <coughs> sucking off another dude's gun. Bigger games could learn a lot from these indie titles. Not just about male queerness, but about masculinity in general. It's not just about letting men be gay, it's about letting men be something that isn't another violent arsehole. Video games could be a much better source for male role models than they are, and I hope that change happens.